I can be is just me. All right, it's Slim Rita here. You already know the vibes. We got EK here. You hear Easy the Blockhead? They're calling his name right now. I got you. <laughs> Why is Easy challenging me, man? I don't know, bro. What did I do? A couple of weeks ago, <laughs> I seen the Battle Rap Trap episode. Let's just say that. What, what happened? What did he say? Did, did, no, didn't you say uh, you've been looking for that? Uh, for Ace I mean, that you tell Battle Rap Trap you were looking yes. for? Yes. 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 I guess he just, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, he deserves it. After, he after what he did thing. today, he can call anybody out. He looks like he's next. Looks like he's next up. So how you feel off of the battle, man? Right? Like, got it. This is the first time that after a battle, the main emotion is I'm glad it's over, man. Like, okay. <laughs> the ultimate man is leading into this battle. It's been a little bit mentally fatiguing. Right. I mean, there's no excuses. When you take a battle, you got to show up. The Warriors are supposed to go to war. Um, for the first time, whether it's a performance, win or loss, I'm just focused on it feels nice to be done for a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, wow. the, the ultimate man is that quiet room setting um, two weeks up, that back to back. <laughs> and, you know, when you talk about the pen guys like yourself, yes, eventually, I always said, like, you know, later on, when does the pen get fatigued? So, you know, you, you mentioned it today, like it was showing a little bit of, up to you got through the material. I still thought the material was fire, Thank you. but you know what I mean. Did, did that play into it? Like, it's yeah, yeah. I don't want to bore you too much with numbers, but if like the first week against home uh, Blue Easy, my pen was at a hundred. Okay. My performance was like at ninety. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Uh, Holmesy, my pen was like at a sixty. Okay. My performance was also like at a sixty. Okay. Today. My pen was a little bit better than the Holmes did, but my performance was like out of 10. Yeah. So it's just two different aspects, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's attrition in the writing, but there's also attrition in performance too, which you should be able to control easily. It's just like, listen, man, it's okay. nine minutes of rapping. You should be able to get the energy up, you know right. what I mean? But like, I'm a what happens? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> you had to smoke one of the ladies on Cradle yeah. of the Rain, that's yeah, all. Then he'll be quiet. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, that's the other thing. The, the writing took a substantial drop off with the performance. It's even bigger. You know yeah. I mean? Battle rappers like me, we just we just saw Jack Boy Man who's like naturally performing. Right. Battle rappers like me who struggle in the performance and delivery, but I can get there with preparation. You know right. What I mean? Right. It just didn't happen this time. Right. You know what I mean? It just didn't happen. So that's that's what happens in the time crunch. It's interesting to find that out about yourself. You know what I mean? What you need to work on. What do you think of, of that room? Like, you know what I mean? That was You've been there. Uh, that was his first time in that environment, yes. right? So, yes. what do, do you, my opinion, do, like, do you feel like people need to be in that room to be able to test themselves in that two-week environment, that small room, no crowd reaction, like, and do that maybe like, let's just say three, three times in a row every two weeks, like. Do you feel like that's something that people may need to do to test themselves? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm a big believer that everyone in America should have to work at a restaurant at one point in their life. Okay. I've <laughs> never done it. The aspect of how, how people treat each other, this is the same with battle rap. Every okay. battle rapper, I mean, some of them have been through the UFF, which I right. think that's even a tougher situation. Mm -hmm. I think that was like yeah. today, so they, they're yeah. cool. But every battle rapper, you know, like I compare battle rapping to fighting, and you know more about yourself. I know about I'm more about my writing process and my battling, and I I've learned more these last six weeks than I have a year of battle. Okay. You know I mean, because battle rap has only been one way for so long. You book a battle a month or two out, you go perform in front of a couple people, drops on YouTube, and that. This is a completely different scenario. It's like if we took NBA players and put them on three on three, there'd be different teams that are better. There'd be different right. athletes that stood out. Like, instead of like when everyone's talking about the underdogs in the tournament, I'm like, there's no underdogs in this shit. Okay. It's a new format for everybody. I would made the mistake of sleeping on Bill Collector's whole career. I thought he was a good battle rapper. But in this setting, he's a fucking phenomenal battle rapper. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, it's not so much like underdogs over dogs, it's just a different style of battle rap, which I'm glad the fans are getting to see and the battlers are getting to see. So yeah, man, everybody, I think it's tough. Like when you don't know who you truly are until you get into a fight, this is a different type of fight. I think I would encourage battle rappers to try to get in there and mix it up, man. You learn a lot about yourself. Okay. But niggas have too much to lose. <laughs>
Top tier niggas have way too much to lose. Oh, so here we go. Because I, I feel like they need to just mix, just get in the mix. You know, go like, ahead and do it. I like, love to see it. The, the, the Ultimate Madness is trending in the way we all think it's trending. We had we had better names this time around. Not better, bigger names, more well known. Yeah, um, bigger profiles. Put that back to black. <laughs> um, if it goes a step up from this, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's a fact. If we start getting some top tiers. Yeah, the, wow. and that's my thing. If we have like a top tier tournament, we'll be wow. able to see levels from those top tiers and be able to see differences between all of them and, wow. and what makes them different and what makes them a top tier. Ex exactly. Look, and the thing is, is like, niggas are getting exposed. That's it's the big fact. thing. I want to see people win, but it's interesting to see like, oh, we're not, we're not who we thought you were. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there's a couple battlers this tournament where we're like, oh, we're not really who you thought you were. Okay. In fact, there's some fans of mine that's like, ah, man, we thought your pen was better than that. <laughs> and I gotta live with that. You know okay. what I mean? But right. it's like, you, I mean, you never know if no one shoot the shot. Like, this tournament was for me and someone like Loso, we were booming this year. Right. And the only way this tournament would have been worth it is to win it. Okay. Otherwise, it was a dumb decision. Right. I remember in your in your promo, you said your hit loser is not an option. Like it's not that's an the option. right. You know I mean? So now we look crazy. Our stocks drop. <laughs> Who knows what kind of plates we're gonna get? Because Loso had just came off of JC. He could have yeah. probably parlayed that into Summer Madness if he wanted to. If he would have waited. You know okay. what I mean? And I was booming too. But yeah. but now you've seen Holmes beat me. You've seen. Uh, prep beat me, you know what I mean? Like, now I gotta climb my way back up. That's the warrior spirit, man. You gotta take your lumps. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta take your lumps. What do you feel about as far as, you know, when we talk about the top tiers doing a tournament, yeah. having a actual L, like, you know what I mean? Whether you feel, you know, back in the day, if Ultra Madness wasn't judged, you at home, you could have left off that stage, listen, man, I got it. He yeah. said he got it, and that's that. Yeah. Now there's an actual win-loss. Yes. Like, how do you think the top tiers might appreciate that or, or shy away from it? I think they're going to struggle with that. Okay. I think that the top tiers have made such an investment into their own brand. It's going to be hard to accept an L for them. Okay. Especially on the credence of whoever the judges are. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes the judges are not going to be experienced with some of the top tier guys. You know okay. I mean? So, but my idea is to have four tournaments, four summer madnesses. Next step up, you get guys like DNA, okay. Av, you know okay. I mean? then you have a Legends tournament. Ooh. Okay. And then okay. you take the four winners okay. of this tournament, do a Final Four. A lot of final money. Caffeine. I'm gonna send you a bill for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, you know I mean? that's a I mean, fire idea. You get idea. all the four winners and like you know, create a tournament of champions. It'd be dope, man. It's cool to see what it is. I mean, I think Battle Rap can thrive in a lot of different ways. The rooftop, the crowds come back, and this right now, we're just showing the progression in it, man. About that rooftop. Yes, we'll talk about that later. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. But no, so I guess my last question is coming off of the battle today, like you say, you know, you gotta climb your way back up. Yeah. Who do you want? You know, it feels weird to be calling someone's name so much. So okay. I won't beg anyone for a battle. I think I'm skilled enough to where like I can get the battles I want at this okay. point. Where the fuck is Chilla Jones, man? Okay. Okay. So, where are we? Chilla, I want I want to see Chilla just because I really respect his pen, and I want to get back to the people that have the pen heavy stuff. So I want to see Chilla. Yeah, I wish I could edit that. that but, that's yeah. the, but that's the culture we're brewing. Yeah. Like I think it's like if you want to go to the riders, go to the buck. I think when the world returns to some type of normalcy, there's going to be these big events. Right. And it's like, hey, if you're the delivery guy that has crazy performance, you want to go there. Right. If you're a guy that's pen heavy, you want to go to this. You know? yeah. Then there's going to be some crossover, which I think Battle Rap's going to live in more worlds now. That's yeah. dope, man. It's dope to see. It's going to be crazy to see. You know what I, mean? I think when Bill collected, because I know Bill follows our channel, I think when he sees this, he may want to have a conversation, though. He said you always thought he was just okay, and now he's phenomenal. I fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, he's, uh, I just always thought he was a decent battle rapper. Right, right. You know? And now in this tournament, he's looking like a legend. Yeah. You know, like, don't get it fucked up. I still think this is Danny Myers tournament to lose. Okay. You know, I think it's catered to his style. And he, I think he's been overqualified for this tournament. I think he should be a level up. But yeah, man, shout out to Bill Collector. We can have that conversation. He's, yep. he's the exact opposite for me. Okay. I keep it pretty simple. I just want the pen to talk. Bill Collector's crazy with the performance, so it's a different meeting of worlds, and that's beautiful. Sometimes I want another pen, sometimes I want a guy that's completely different. You know? so, so that's something you would entertain. I'm outside. Oh. I'm outside. Okay, okay. 
Yeah. Well, listen, we appreciate your time, EK, man. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Can we get that drop for the A&R show? Yes, sir. Hey, Emerson Kennedy, please tune in to the A&R show. Y'all know what we rocking with. Thank you.